I took a small break before we start on page 8. I do have page 7 mounted in my book. And the stickles are dry. And this is what yours should look like. Okay, let's start page 8. All right, we don't have a whole lot left in page or uh, in our paper pack number 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to one, two, what, one, two, three, four, five sheets left. We're going to remove them. I think that's five sheets unless they're stuck together here. Okay. We're going to put this in paper pack number two. We're going to be grabbing in pack two now. So I'm going to find if there's any of these sheets, like right here. I see the same sheet. I'll just put that in there. And if there's these sheets in here, I'll do the same. So I can see what I got here. In our paper pack, we will find this sheet on the back. It looks like this. This is like the same print that we used on our um, other sheet there. And we're going to use it. Let's trim off this top piece. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Measure over two and a quarter inches and cut. Put this in our reserves. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Go ahead and stick this in your reserves too. Looking at your paper like this, measure over nine and a quarter inches and cut. Stick this in reserves. And we can push this out of the way for now. We're going to get into some cardstock. Cut a piece of cardstock that is seven and a half inches by nine and a quarter inches. I am seven and a half inches across on my scoring board at six and three quarters of an inch. Let's score. And at six and seven eighths of an inch, let's score. Our flap is going to be off to the right. You have the inner score and the outer. On the inner, pinch to push that back behind so all we see is what we need to cover with paper. In your paper pack, you will find this on the back. It looks like this. So let's trim off this top piece. To ensure that we have the same leftover cuttings, we're going to look at our page like this when we're cutting it. So measure over six and a half inches and cut. This is what you should have. Just set this to the side. We are going to get something off here. Turn your paper looking at it like this. Measure over nine inches and cut. Stick this in your reserves. Let's check to make sure that we fit. If we were to place it here, we will have a nice white border all the way around. And it does. We can go ahead and apply glue to the back and glue that down. Got mine down. Let's just set this off to the side. Looking at this, what we're going to want to do is cut between um, this panel and these. So I'm just going to put this on my paper cutter and slice that right on down. And I'm going to show you what mine looks like. This is what I have. Stick this in your reserves. We're going to cut out this. So I'm just going to do this for now. We can stick these in our reserves. Let's cut up and around this little tag. Once you have your tag cut out, we'll set that off to the side. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four and three quarters of an inch by six and a half inches. Check your reserves to see if you have a piece that you can cut to that size. Those of you that are using the punches, you will punch along the long side. Those of us that are die cutting, I'm in the Regal Borders and Pockets, and I am using these two brackets. All we're going to do is place this, center it, you'll have some white on each side, bring it to the top, and run that through your die cutter. Die cutters, go ahead and cut in from the side, 
up here to release this. In your reserves you will find this. On the back it looks like this. For those of you that use the punch, what you're going to do is bring it right up underneath. I miscut my cardstock, but that's okay. You're going to bring yours right up underneath yours, like so. And you will trim the sides, the white cardstock left over, off, as well as if you have any underneath here, just trim it. So what you're going to be looking at is a pocket like this. Die cutters, what we're going to do and then you will glue it down too. So die cutters, what we're going to do is apply glue to ours. We will center it right up underneath this and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have to trim. So trim your sides off and your bottom. So what you're going to have is a pocket like this and it's going to fit nicely right here. Let's grab our Actually, let's just use some glue on this. So we're just going to dab a thin line of glue here and here and along the bottom. And we will place it. In your reserves, you will find this piece. It's 12 inches long and we have this print. We're going to be using this side. So let's turn it like this, measure over 7 inches, and cut. Keep these two handy. Let's get our cardstock out. Cut a piece of cardstock that is 5 inches by 8 inches. And I am 8 inches across the board. Score your first line at 7 and 1 8 inch. Score your second line at 7 and a quarter inches. Let's fold on our score lines. Our flap's going to be at the top, so you have a bottom score line and a top score line. On the bottom one, let's just pinch it so all we have to look at is what we need to cover. So once you've verified that this is a fit, it looks good. you got white on either side, top and bottom. Set this off to the side. In your paper pack, you will find this. On the back, it looks like this. Let's trim off this top piece. What we want to do is cut right on the green. So all we're doing is dividing the panels. Let's put this in our reserves. We are going to be using that after a bit. And now what we're going to do is divide these two panels. And then you'll also cut to divide this from the trim. Set this off in your reserves. <clears throat> Set this one off to the side. We're going to be using this one. Cut a piece of cardstock that is five inches by five and a quarter inches. I am five inches across the board at four inches, score, and at four and a quarter inches, score. Let's fold on our score lines here. Okay, grab this, grab your craft knife, a cutting pad and a pencil. So what you're going to want to do is you have the inner score lines and, and the outer. On the outer one, just pinch that. Place this centered right over the panel, just like this. If you want to bring it up a little more so you have less orange up here, that's fine. I'm going to try and center mine. Now I have over here, when I'm placing this down, I have over to the left side about a quarter inch between the white cardstock and the outer edge here. Take your pencil and draw a line on the side. Get your cutting mat out. What we're going to do, and we're going to try to keep this straight, so if you need to use a ruler to keep your blade to go straight, do so. But we're going to cut right on that line. Not all the way down, just as far enough that we need. Okay. Slide this in there. It should slide in. Okay, 
and push it down. Once you have it straight, pinch it, and this is where we're going to tack this flap down. Okay, so now what you can do is move this back carefully so you don't tear that little piece that we need. So open this up and grab a magnet and we're just going to apply that right over here. Now you have these two pieces. Okay, the one that we want is this one. We're going to apply glue to the back of this and mount that and be careful of your score line there. I got mine glued down and I'm going to bring it over. Grab this, let's apply glue to the back and glue that right on top, leaving yourself white border on each side. Flip this over. Let's grab the mate. Let it find there. And we'll apply glue. Now on the back of this piece, you're going to want to use score tape. And we're going to place it right on the side, on the back here. You're also going to want to place it it's right here, which is on the white flap. The rest of this I am going to apply glue and mount it, and our flap is at the top. So what you have now is a magnetic closure on this. Let's flip that up. The tab is, or the flap is now at the bottom. In your reserves, you will find this piece. On the back, it is gray. We're going to look at it like this, so we have the same leftover cuttings. Measure over four and three quarters of an inch and cut. Stick this piece in your reserves. Looking at it like this, measure over six and seven eighths of an inch and cut. We're going to be using these, so just set this off to the side with your other little tag. Flip this over, and this should be a nice fit, giving you your white border. Let's apply glue and glue that down. Okay, let's just set this off to the side for now. Got a piece of cardstock that is 5 inches by 6 inches, and I am 6 inches across. At five and one eighth inch score, and at five and a quarter inch score. And we'll fold on our score lines. Our flap is at the bottom. There's a bottom score line and a top score line. Let's pinch that on the top score line so all we are looking at is what needs to be covered. Grab this piece and place it and make sure that it's a good fit for you and it should look like this. Okay, let's get, uh, we have to place a magnet so, and we are going to place it first on this so let's do this first and attach this. So you have um, your bottom score line and your top. On your top one, pinch it Grab your panel and fold out your side so you don't accidentally get it. Just wrap that in the middle there. Once you have it in place, pinch it and let's tack that down to this piece. Okay, and we're going to move this up. Let's do this the easy way and attach this first before we place our magnets. So you have actually a top and a bottom score line on the bottom one. We're going to pinch that for now. And when you do this, make sure you push it back up so when you run your finger at the top, it's, it's flat. And we're going to do like we did before. Make sure your flap is out. Line up your sides. And I think I got mine where it needs to be. Pinch it. And we can tack that down now. There. All right. Now we can push this down. Okay. Magnet. So I think the first thing I want to do is come to the top here. And don't worry because we're going to uh, cover it. Just place a magnet 
up here and we are going to cover that. So this is where Mr. and Mrs. come in. Let's grab our scissors and cut this out. Alright, we're going to apply glue to this, the back, Mr. and Mrs. And we're going to place that right at the top up there. Make sure it's good and down. Grab the mate to that magnet. Let's put a dab of glue in the center. Make sure that this is, when you run your fingers, it's flat. And bring it on over the top. Press. Now let's place our magnet where it needs to go. Okay, now let's apply glue to the back of this and mount that. Okay, that should latch. Let's grab our sheet for the inside here of this. In your reserves you will find this on the back. There's green with some writing. We're going to place this right like this and we should be fine having a white border if we centered it top sides. Now down here at the bottom is where we're just going to use our pen pencil. So make sure you got a border going there. Make a mark. Cut this and then we're going to apply glue after we cut it and mount that. I've got mine mounted. Okay, let's open this up and we're just going to apply glue to just the top part of this and we're going to place it right like this and make sure that it does not interfere, the side of it does not interfere with our folding mechanism. And mine does Grab not. Grab one of your flowers, let's apply a little glue to the back and we're going to stick it at right up here. So you can still, when this goes over, it's fine. When this goes up, it's fine. Let's attach this. So you have an inner and an outer score line. Pinch on the outer. Let's just do what we did before, making sure we are even. And now we'll just tack that down. So this album is designed to give you lots of room to just place your pictures. And also we got our pockets. Let's grab a, about four of these white little flowers. And I'll put one right here, put one right here, one here, one here. I'll be using these shortly on the cover, but let's finish the inside first because this one's a little more bulky. So we're just going to open this right up so we can get at this. In your paper pack you will find another one of these sheets. On the back it looks like this. Let's trim off that top piece. We want the same cuts left over so turn your sheet upside down. Measure over six and three-eighths of an inch and cut. Stick this one in reserves. Looking at it like this, measure over 9 inches and cut. Stick this in reserves. Verify that you are going to fit nicely, giving you a white border, top, the sides, and you have plenty of room away from that inner score line there. Let's set this off to the side and work on this. In your reserves you will have this piece on the back it has writing there. Okay, turn it upside down. So you're looking at the, the doves, they're upside down. Measure over six and three-eighths of an inch and cut. We're going to want the one with the dove here and we're also going to need some cardstock. This is going to be a pocket. Cut a piece of cardstock that is eight inches by seven inches. This is eight inches across. If you are using the punches, you will punch along that long side. If you are using um, dies, I'll show you which one I'm going to use. I'm in the Delicate Borders Basic. 
I am 8 inches across here. There's this bracket. And then there is this one. Take a look at that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is match these up. Bring it to the top. Make sure that I am even from side to side, even from here up and here up, and I'm going to run that through my die cutter. Now, those of you that do not have a die cutter that is that wide, what you will do, and we'll have to do the same thing we did before, is get a strip that is 8 inches wide and you will die cut yours on a separate piece and then we will cut it to fit. Those of you that die cut, let's cut from here up and here down to release this top piece. If you use paper punch, what you will do is center yours up underneath your trim and if you have white, you will trim the white to fit your page. I did this a little bigger to accommodate for uh, the die cutter, so you probably might have some trimming of white to do. Okay, those of you that uh, had to die cut a separate piece, what you are going to do with that piece is you are going to lay it down on top of your the, the cardstock that we're working with. And once you place it down to where the tip is at the tip of the cardstock that is uh, going to be too big now, you will take your piece and just bring it over to the side a little so you can see where your side is, okay? You are going to be marking on that large piece of cardstock and you will measure down if you're using this die, and I better not give a measurement because you may not be using the same die as I. The idea is to come down underneath your trim die at least a half inch. So on that piece that's too big, make it a mark and then you will trim it. Now you'll be able to uh, attach yours to that and then we will all be squared up. It's kind of like what we did before. Okay, so what's going to happen now is this sheet is most likely going to be too large for you die cutters as well. And we have this, as you see. Before we trim ours up on the bottom, we need to get that die plate out, and it's in the classic borders. It's in this one, and it's just the curved one with the line going all the way through. So we're going to center this right side to side. We need to find where that hump is. Once we find where that hump is, we can place this on our sheet and run this through the die cutter. Okay, everybody apply glue to the back of your panel if you haven't done so now. And place it evenly, make sure your sides are straight. Now, once you have that glued down, you can trim off any extra white cardstock showing, just like the people who paper punched did. So this is where you should be. Let's get our score tape out, apply it to the bottom of our peach colored panel. Not sure where my craft knife went. I think it got legs, like everything else. <laughs> and we'll just bring that straight down and we'll wrap the flaps around the back and tack them down. Okay, so I am in this lace right here. We call it the flapper style. And I am just going to bring this right up and underneath and over on the curve. When you are doing the curve on this side, you won't want lace peeking out over the edge. So just bring that in a little bit and glue it down. I've got mine down. Let's glue this down. Apply your glue and mount this. I've got my bling out and I am going to now glue it on the inside of that panel around that curve. Okay, I got my bling down. I'm going to shut this. And I had you set aside a couple flowers for the outside. I am going to glue this leaf, which is part of the 
the pack there. And I'm just going to stick it up like this. And I have this one from one of the flower packs. I'm going to stick that right there. I'm going to grab this pink one and put it right there. Okay, grab a couple more of your white little flowers and then there's this style. And then we're going to get our stickles out. Stick that right there. And stick that one right there. Stickles! Okay, with the stickles, uh, before you do your stickles, you may want to put your score tape around the back side, around like a picture mat, one down the middle, two on either side. So stickles, I will be applying it to the doves, the roses, and some accenting around here, and on my flowers as well. In your Jolie's Gems, let's grab this one, and we're just going to stick that right here. It already has some adhesive, and I think it'll be just fine for this, just sticking it at the bottom. We'll also have a couple pearls. If you need to add some adhesive uh, glue or something under your pearls, do so. Now one thing you can also do, I didn't know if you know this or not, but you can add stickles to some of your little flat back pearls here. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit to my diamonds, not a lot, just enough. Okay, our page is complete and we will go ahead and uh, just set this off to the side until it dries. And I don't know if you can see all the stickles on mine. We are now on to page 9. Page 9 and 10 we're going to complete together because they are kind of the same. So uh, in your paper pack you will find these two prints on the back. It's these. And these are what we are going to use. So the first thing we're going to do is just double them up and take off that trim piece. We're going to cut them differently, so set one off to the side. On this one, the rose is in the upper left hand corner. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Okay, you have this. Put this in reserves. Turn it. Your rose is down at the bottom left. Measure over nine and a quarter inches and cut. Put this in your reserves and set this off to the side. Okay, place your paper so your roses are now in the bottom left corner. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Stick this sheet in our reserves. Turn your sheet and measure over nine and a quarter inches and cut. Now we're going to put this in our reserves. So now what we have, these two sheets looking like this. The roses up here in the right, roses off to the left. Let's just set these off and we're going to grab, we're going to grab into our uh, cardstock, cut two pieces of cardstock that are each nine inches wide by five and a half inches tall. And we're just going to set these off to the side and get our scoring board out. Okay, so let's do this the easiest way. Grab one of your sheets and put it on here. It matters not where you put it on the board. Okay, all we're going to do is center this side to side. Okay. And I'm going to leave where I can see some pink showing down here. All we're going to do is grab our pencil, and you'll want to be able to have white on either side. This is going to be where we're going to score to wrap around. So if you place it like this, we're going to do a different style pocket that allows more picture mats in there. So at the edge of the pink, I'm going to make a little pencil mark on my white cardstock and I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to grab my other piece and I'm going to do the same thing. Making sure I'm even here to here with white overhang. Make a mark here and here. Okay. 
this tells me where my first score line is going to be. And line up that first one with one of your notches, and you will want to keep it here and not let it slide. So on the first one, we are going to score our line. So you have one notch here. You're going to measure over one eighth of an inch, one eighth inch to the left of that. So your spacing is an eighth of an inch. So let's start over here now. Your first score line over on this side. Now you're going to measure over an eighth of an inch, which on my board is the next notch, and score. I'm going to erase these, and I'm going to do the same with this, lining it up. I'll start on this side. My my pencil mark, there's a score line. Measure over one eighth over. If you're using this scoreboard, it's the next notch. And over here, score it. Measure over to the left, one eighth, the next notch. At least on my board, though that's an eighth of an inch. Eight. Uh, so I've got that spacing. Whoops. Okay, now. I'm going to turn this and place it here at the five inch mark because now I'm five and a half inches across. Five inch mark, I'm going to score, and at five and one eighth, I'm going to score. Do the same thing for this. Okay, so we're going to do this on each one, and I hope you can see my score lines. There is an, a score line here and then an inside score line. The inside one clip all the way up to the top score line. And now we just clip over. So now we are like that. On this side, here's a score line and then the inner one. I'm going to get on the inner one and clip up to the second score line and I'm going to clip over. And I'm going to do the same thing on this. Okay, so before I do any folding, what you're going to want to do is, those of you using your punches, your deep edge, you are going to punch along the long side here on each one of these. Those of us that are using dies. I'll show you which one I'm going to get into. I'm in my regal borders and I'm actually going to grab this die plate and then there's the die plate that matches up with it. And what we're going to do is place these and we are going to center them from side to side. Whoops, get that in there. And you may want to use your ruler but you're going to measure uh, you're centering it in between your inner score line here and here. And we'll run that through the die cutter. And we will do the same thing on this one. And run that through the die cutter. Die cutters, you are going to cut from this side on over, this side on up to release this top part. And you'll do the same on this one. Let's fold on all of our score lines. Okay. On the bottom score line, let's pinch it and we'll smooth that out. Let's slide that flap back behind. Now uh, you have an inner score line and an outer. On that inner one, line up your sides. Make sure they're even on each side. Once you have it where it's supposed to be, pinch it. And we're going to tack our flap down. Now, before you go and do your sides, you do have to push down and make sure that when you rub your finger, it is flat. Okay, once it's like that, then we can come and wrap our side in. And just tack it on down. Okay, now what we have is a very deep pocket there so that we can put more than what you know what we want back there 
Now this die is a very intricate die. If you are worried that yours might um, that yours might tear, die cut another strip and just mount it back behind. Okay, I'm going to leave mine as is. I think it's going to be perfectly fine. We do have a, a door to come over, so it will protect this from when we shut our book. They won't be touching each other, but I wanted to use that little intricate one on this. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Whoops. The bottom score line. What did I get on my paper? I'm going to have to try to get that off. The bottom score line, pinch it, line up your sides, tack it down. In your paper pack, you will find this sheet. On the back, it is this. Let's trim off this top piece. Okay, looking at your sheet like this, your trims are down here. Measure over three and three quarters of an inch and cut and you will measure over again three and three quarters of an inch and cut. This is what you should have. Put this in your reserves. We're going to double these up now and it's going to make no difference uh, what way you're looking at it because now we're just going to flip these over. Okay, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. A small piece put in your reserves. Okay, for those of you that used your trim, the trim punch, and I'm just going to lay this back behind, yours should be a perfect fit. So you can go ahead and glue yours down. For us who use the die, we're just going to bring this right underneath, giving us some white border here on the top. So we are going to add some lace. Now I'm going to move mine over so I can see where the bottom of this is. I'm going to make a pencil mark and trim. And just in case you're, um, you have one higher than the other, you'll do the same thing on this one to trim it down. Alright, let's apply our glue and glue these down. Okay, I'm going to get into my lace right here and I'm going to cut these to fit and then I'm going to glue them down. Okay, grab your bling, cut a piece to fit across both of these and then we're going to glue it down. Cut two pieces of cardstock that are eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. I'm going to set this off to the side. Let's get our scoreboard. I am five and a half inches across at four and three quarters of an inch. We are going to score and at five inches we're going to score. And we'll do that on this one too. Four and three quarters of an inch and five inch. Let's fold on our score lines. So one is going to have the flap off to the right on the inner score line. Let's pinch that and tuck that flap back behind so all we see is what we need to cover. On this one, you have an outer and inner. On the inner one, we're going to do the same thing. And our flap is off to the left. In your reserves, you will find this long sheet. It's pink with polka dots. On the back, it looks like this. Now we're going to measure, looking at it like this, we're going to just place this right down. And what we're going to do is make a pencil mark up here where we need to trim, leaving ourselves about an eighth of an inch. And right here, looks like a good mark for me so I can save this. And I'll trim this way first, then that way. I put my other pieces in my reserves and that is a good fit. Also in your reserves you will find another one that is pink. Flip it over and I am going to save down in here. So what I want to do is I'm going to just match these up. I'm going to put mine on there because both of those are the same. Make a pencil mark here and here 
My first cut is this way and then down. Put your pieces in your reserves. Okay. <clears throat> All right, my flap is off to the left on this one, tucked back behind. My flap is off to the right, tucked back behind. Place them and glue them down. I got mine on. In your reserves, you will have this sheet. On the back, it looks like this. What we're going to first do is trim so the bottom trim piece borders down here separate and then we'll trim off hugs and kisses. So far this is what you should have. This goes in our reserves. Now we're going to cut this straight down the middle and then separate these two. This goes back in our reserves. Check your reserves for some white cardstock. See if you have any uh, white cardstock you can cut down. You're going to need two pieces that are four inches by five and a quarter inches. If you don't have anything in your reserves, then you'll want to cut, of course. All we're going to do is apply glue to the back of these, and we're going to center this on both of these. Alrighty, what we're going to do and we're going to leave this so you can slide things back behind. We're just going to run some glue right underneath on the bottom only. And this one's going to be probably about a half inch up from the bottom. And you'll want to try and center that side to side. Now this one, we'll put the glues at the bottom of the panel, but we're going to put this up here and it'll be about a half inch down from the top. Okay, let's flip these over. The flap is now towards the inside. In your paper pack you will find this print on the back. It's this one. And this is the one that we want to use. Let's take off that top trim piece. Okay, I'm looking at my paper like this so I can read it. Measure over four and a half inches and cut. Measure over again four and a half inches and cut. Okay, the small one goes back in reserves. Let's double these up. Measure over eight and a quarter inches and cut. Okay, flip one of these over, set it off to the side, put this in reserves, center these, and glue these down. All right, got mine down. I'm going to put this on my paper cutter actually and just trim up. I'm going to divide these three. Okay, always and forever. I'm going to just clip it on the left side of that rose there. And I've got on your wedding day, happily ever after. I'm going to cut just left to the rings. Hugs and kisses. Alrighty, happily ever after. I'm going to place right down here. I'm not going to back this one with any cardstock. I'm going to take hugs and kisses and place that right underneath. Forever and always. I'm going to stick right down here. Kind of blends in. And on your wedding day can go back in our reserves. Okay, let's grab both of our things and we're going to do the same thing on both of them. This one is for our left and this one's for our right. I'm just going to pinch it on the outside like I've been doing. And I'm going to place this so it's center top to bottom as best I can. As soon as I see I've lined up, pinch it and tack them down. And you will do the same with the other one. I have a little bit of this lace left. And not enough to go across by any means, but I'm going to just clip off some sides here. Apply your glue for that lace. And we're going to want some flowers. Okay. I have one of these, and they're the flatter style. I'm going to put that right up here. 
and I have another one. Put that right there. I've got these small, flatter white ones. And we're going to need our stickles as well to dress these up a little. Okay. Before we uh, add our stickles, let's flip these over, apply our score tape, and then we'll start working with the stickles here. Uh, we're going to add stickles to our flowers to dress them up a little bit. I'm going to add it to the bell, and some of the image in here as well as over here. Okay, I'm going to grab some of my so-called flapper lace and I'm going to cut a little to fit right underneath there and I'm going to cut a little to fit right underneath here. Okay, let's glue this down. If you have a couple flat back pearls handy that can also dress your page up as well. Alrighty, this page is complete and we're going to set these off to the side. We are now on our last two pages, 11 and 12. We're on page 11 and this is a very simple page. Let's uh, look in our paper pack for this. On the back it looks like this. Let's trim off this top piece. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Put this piece in reserves. Now measure over nine and a quarter inches and cut. This goes in our reserves. Flip this over, apply score tape around the outside, one down the middle, and two on either side. Apply your stickles around the bells and your roses and some of the detail here. i got my stickles on here. As soon as this dries, I will mount this in my book. We are now on to our last page, page 12. In your paper pack, you will find this sheet. We're on page 12. It's the same one we used for page 11. On the back, it's green. Let's trim off that top piece. Turn your paper upside down so you're looking at it like this. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. For now, we're going to stick this off to the side. We won't put it in our reserves. We may do some fussy cutting around those bells. Okay, looking at your paper like this, you have some of your ribbon showing up in the right hand corner. We're going to measure over nine and a quarter inches and cut. Cut four pieces of cardstock that are four and a quarter by six inches. And we can set this off to the side for right now. Get your scoring board out, and I am four and a quarter inches across the board. At four inches, we're going to score on each of our four pieces of cardstock. And then we're going to fold on that score line. Okay, on each one of these, and the peak is up, right here is my little flap. We're going to lay a piece of score tape right on that, but not getting it on the peak. And once you lay your score tape, you're going to want to flip it over and you will cut any score tape that is showing. And we're going to do this on all of them, all four pieces. So let's do that. I've got all my score tape on mine. I'm going to set those off to the side. In your reserves, you will find these prints. This, these are each 12 inches long. On the back of one, this one, it looks like this. On the back of the green one, it looks like this. Now the green one is slightly wider than this one. We're going to double these up and we're going to be looking at them like this. We are going to measure over three and three quarters of an inch and cut. You can stick these in your reserves. Okay, double these back up. Measure over five and three quarters of an inch 
and cut, and then you'll measure over again five and three quarters of an inch and cut. And that's going to give us four pieces. So this is what you should have. So let's grab our pieces. These are all going to be uh, the fronts. If you place this down, and if you fold back your flap back behind, that'll be a nice fit. And I have a pencil mark on mine. Okay, so the peak would be up. We're going to apply glue to this and mount that, and we will have a white border around it. The next one, make sure your flap is to head back behind, like so, and we will mount that one. We will put this back behind, just push it back for now, out of the way so we can see when we're trying to mount these, that one, and then this one. So let's apply our glue and do that. I've got all mine glued down. Now I'm just going to flip them up here, set them off to the side, and we'll find our paper for the back side. In your reserves you will find two 12 inch long sheets. There's one that has a peachy, a peachy colored background here with some looks like musical notes in the very back. And on the other side it looks like this. And this one is wider. This one is about five and a half inches wide by 12. Then you're going to find a pink one that's 12 inches long. And this one's only about four and a half inches wide. And the back side looks like this. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Just double those right on up. Measure over three and three quarters of an inch and cut. You can stick your strips off into reserves. So, okay, looking at them, I have them both doubled up. Looking at it this way. Measure over five and three quarters of an inch and cut. And then you'll measure over again five and three quarters of an inch and cut. And that will give us our four back pieces. Okay, on the back of this, I'm going to center this. Apply glue and center that. Here is another one that looks like this. On the back of that, I'm going to glue the pink. And on the back of the greens, I will glue down the peach ones. Okay, this is a waterfall that we are going to be creating. And what you're going to want to do is, don't take this uh, off your shed, I'm going to show you. You'll measure down three quarters of an inch from the top. We'll be removing the score tape, pressing that back, and placing that from and having it centered side to side and straight. So I'm going to do my first one and we will be covering the hinges underneath with some uh, lace. So I'm just going to bring this a little closer. Approximately three quarters of an inch down from the top. The key is to try and keep this straight. So there's the first one. Flip it up, smooth it down, the next one we're going to grab the green one and you can either eyeball this or use a pencil mark. I'm going to eyeball mine. I'm going to press that back and I'm going to be approximately three quarters of an inch below the other one. Trying to keep it straight and I think I got mine on crooked there but a little bit. Not bad. I think it'll be fine. So you'll place it underneath. The next one is this, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep placing them down, straight. And if you need to keep the score tape on for a moment and flip this down to make sure that you are in the right spot and lined up side to side, do so. And then you can just make your pencil mark where you need to be. And we're going to keep doing this for all of them. So this is what yours should look like. Now, if your, your things will, um, your fold-outs, or your, excuse me, your waterfall flaps here, they should settle down and lay flatter as time goes. Now, another th trick is, is I usually grab mine and kind of mold it back against the page. Okay, let's get some of our 
half inch lace. Cut four strips of your thin half inch lace that will fit across the bottom of your little flap that is exposed. When you're doing this, make sure you are not gluing it down to the hinge area there. And we will place ours on each one underneath. Okay, I had you set this off to the side. It's actually one piece. I forgot to turn the, the camera on there. What you're going to want to do is cut it just below the ribbon. Okay, and what we're going to want to do is grab a piece of cardstock. We're going to put apply glue to this, and then we're just going to mount this right on top of a piece of cardstock so that when we fussy cut out the bells and around here, it's doubled up, it's thicker, and it will hold up longer. So let's apply our glue, and then I'm going to show you what mine looks like after I cut it out. As you can see, I didn't get too terribly detailed. Just kind of went out and around, and I'm going to hold this up for a moment so that you can take a better look at it. Okay, so I have this piece. We're ready to go. I am going to flip mine over, and I'm going to slightly pull up to help bend those, the waterfall to form better. Okay, this is going to place right here. Grab a piece of scratch cardstock and slip it underneath that first, that top one. When I apply glue, I'm only going to apply it right here a little bit. So I still have an opportunity to slide something back behind, like a picture or, or something. So kind of look at where the middle of yours is. And I'm going to put some glue right here. Okay, so that will still allow me to get a picture back behind here, like so. Okay, let's apply our stickles, and we're just going to do some detail work on here, the bells, roses, the vines, and uh, you can do as little or as much as you'd like. But actually, before we start that, flip that over, and let's apply our score tape. Uh, around the edges, one down the middle, and we'll want two on either side of this to hold that in place when we put that on the back cover. Page 12 is complete, and as soon as stickles dries, you will mount that in. Um, if this is too plain for you, um, what you can always do after your stickles dry is you can install a pocket down here if you'd like. A shorter one so you can still get things in and out before you mount that in your book. I wanted to leave mine a little more simple. So I'm going to give about 15 minutes and then I'm going to mount mine in my book and then we will regroup to check our hinges and then um, install the side dritz closure. And if I look through and I see I want to do anything else, we'll do it. So I got my final piece in here, and I did decide to put a little extra. I had a hard time just being plain. <laughs> so uh, what I did was, in our Jolies uh, with our pearls, I took two of the flat back pearls and put them on the bell. Then I took my flapper style lace, or whatever lace you're using, and I cut a strip to fit behind each one of these, and I glued it on kind of dress it up just a little more. So really quick, um, I don't see anything else really that I would want to add except maybe this page. Let's see. Nope, I think it looks good. And that looks good on this page. We have lace down here. I am going to cut a piece to fit right at the top of this and be careful because this is a pocket so you don't want to get any glue on the outside and this is completely optional and I'm gonna glue this down right like this got mine down okay I don't think maybe this one okay I'm using my half inch lace and I have cut a piece and I am going to fold it over 
and I'm using a low temp so that's why I'm not burning myself. I think I will add a little bit underneath there and stick this. Okay, so what else I did up here was I just cut a little piece off of my lace and I tuck I tucked it back behind the flower and that's optional as well. And I think that's all I would like to do to this. Let's stand up our album and check our hinges here. Your hinges should be flush against and not pulling away. Now if you're using a good score tape or glue. We didn't make these so heavy to where we would have to really worry about our hinges coming up undone. But if you do, here's a tip. If you do create your own, and let's say that you your hinges are just, your pages are too heavy, you've really loaded it up more than what I've done here, and it's starting to come, uh, come undone. If you're using this style of a hinge like we did with our page, um, if it starts coming up and away, what you can do is find your uh, metal tip to your glue, make sure your glue dries clear, and stick the nozzle underneath the lip and squirt some glue. And then you'll definitely want to make sure you, you help it by rubbing it down until the glue is dry. And that is a tip that you can do. Okay, picture mats you'll be doing on your own. Um, I don't do those because everybody has their own um, size and stuff that they would like to do as far as their picture, especially in a wedding album. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is grab some ribbon and let's get the other side here of our dritz. Got my ribbon. All I'm going to do is feed this up and through the back side and pull it. It's just a regular ribbon. You can choose whatever width that you would like. And we're going to hook that on. I'm going to turn this on its spine. So since you don't have your picture mats in here yet, so I like to just bring mine so I can still kind of move it around. And I will hold it and pinch it. I like to use hot glue. If you're using a hot uh, uh a high temp, you'll definitely want to um, be very careful uh, or use your white glue in which you would unhook it at that point and you would you would just clamp it. So I've got that down and I'm just going to snip these. Let's grab our Jolies and this is uh, where I like to remove um, that back adhesive from the back of this. I feel that for a hinge uh, or for our dritz, I think we're better off using uh, sometimes these adhesive. This is a really good adhesive, but I don't, that'd be kind of embarrassing if it popped off. So I'm going to take that adhesive off. And I think maybe I'll use some hot glue. Give that a try, or use your white glue and clamp it down. Okay. This album is complete. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I will be trying to get out another wedding album tutorial uh, within the next four or five months, maybe sooner. I'm waiting on a certain paper, and I'm not going to tell anybody what it is yet because I have to look at it. To make sure it's any good. So happy crafting everybody and if you have any questions feel free to message me. See you next time.